We have here the internals of a PowerFlex 755. This particular unit had a catastrophically blown IGBT module. You can see where everything has been blown and melted. So in this case, we have replaced all three IGBT modules inside this drive. So on each phase of the motor, U, V, W respectively, the new module is down below. However, when a drive has this sort of failure, oftentimes the firing board will be bad as well. And the middle phase of the firing board is blown. So we have to remove the components that were bad on the gate circuits. You can see extensive trace damage, pads completely blown off the board. And this is what one of those circuits looked like. You have the octocoupler, you have capacitors here, you have transistors and diodes, and we will be correcting this damage, fixing the traces, and installing the new parts. So now we have rebuilt the gate circuit, rerun traces, and we are going to be doing comparison checks on each of the gates. So we will start with the one here on the end. And we see our waveform pattern on the Huntron. Now we are going to go to the next gate circuit. We see a balanced symmetrical waveform. This is great. This is what we want to see on this gate circuitry. Again, a balanced circuit gate. And finally, the last. Now, this circuit gate. Again, a balanced gate circuit. And finally, a balanced gate circuit. And we're looking good all the way across. Now this firing board is ready to install. Now the firing board is installed and will power up the drive. Everything seems good. Everything powers up, so we are going to set up and configure this to run both statistically with phase one testing and on the dyno with phase two testing. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.